the plan today, we're just gonna harvest shad from the water right here. And that's what we're gonna fish with. Now, just in case we didn't have any luck there, I did bring like a leftover box of night crawlers from the other day. So in a pinch, we can throw night crawlers out and, uh, and get a few small fish and then use cut bait. But we're gonna try to get some shad first. But Rachel, you wanna throw the net? <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> you got two birds. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. I'll listen it. Oh, they got, they got, there you go. There you go, one out. Almost there. Almost there. Get out. Get out. There you go, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anybody cast net birds before. <laughs> Just drop them in this water right here. We got a live well. Perfect. So the water enters the lake over here, comes under this bridge and mixes with the hot water. The hot water's coming in over here. So we've got regular water here. We're early enough that the rainwater hasn't really started to flush through. I'm gonna guess while we're here today, we'll probably see this get a lot muddier over here and we'll probably see this water start to mix here. That's what we're really looking for. So for channel cats, the best way to use shad is to cut it in half. I like to go just right about down the middle. The head half is the more desirable, but both work. I use a pretty small hook out here. The fish aren't huge. This is a place we come to catch a lot of fish, but on average, fish are smaller here than most places. If you throw night crawlers here, you catch tons of little just fiddlers. But with cut bait, you do get an average larger fish. So one to three pounds is pretty normal, which is just perfect for eating. When you use cut bait, you see a lot of pecks because we're, the smaller fish aren't getting the cut bait in their mouths. They're picking the organ tissue off the bait and there's so many smaller fish in here, but that's what we want. We don't want to catch every little fiddler in here because that's all we'll catch all day. That's the cut bait. You'll get nice ones like this, just not as many. Good job. Ha! Soft shell. Hey, no, what? Uh, not a soft shell, it's a turtle. I got him in the lip. I got him in the lower lip. Come here, pal. Say he's been in here for a while. Yeah, he has some goo on him, doesn't he? Look at them claws. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't want to be here. We're gonna get that out of your mouth. You'll be fine. He says, no, please. So when you have to take a hook out of somebody's mouth like this, uh, where you really don't want to hurt them, the key is to rotate the hook. So all I had to do was take and spin the hook. I didn't actually have to pull it. I just took it and spun it. Now, Mr. Turtle, which I'm not, I don't remember my turtles real well. He's either a paint or maybe a map turtle. I know they, uh, and then the shell flares out on the edge. That's uh, some kind of an indicator, but no, no, no. You know what turtle this is? Eh, put it in the comments. Let's Hey, good eater. <laughs> this is a friendly place. Everybody loves to stop and talk to you when you're here. So, 
pig. The nice thing about this spot is we can just get the bait as we go. We don't need a whole bunch. We make a couple casts and use the bait, and make a couple more casts. Of course, I'm really regretting not keeping those birds. I, I think we might have caught something good on them. here for forever and we both get a fish at the same time that's fishing right had this guy all ready for the wind and everything and boom i didn't think about the tripod falling over smash my lens Take our knife, wiggle it right in there till we're we're gonna have it press against the spine, and we're we're gonna keep it flat. So the back of the knife was actually rubbing against the ribs as we move forward. Now, once we get past all the ribs, we can flatten the knife out and push all the way down against the spine, and wiggle it down to the end, and that's it. Now the easy part, and also the hard part at the same time. <laughs> and then we just wiggle our skin. And that's that. Fillet of catfish. Yum. When you lose the handle, it gets a little slippery. There we go. Beautiful. Now we just clean them off. We're ready to eat. I mean, I suppose we could cook them first, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 